are going. It's hot today. I feel like all my videos have been in the freezing cold for once it's hot. I'm sweating just standing here. Anyways, another video. Um, at this point I've kind of got five videos I need to edit and put on YouTube. But I'm filming more. I'm getting all the, the little stuff that I'm doing actually recorded. Because, I mean, I wasn't going to record this, but here I am. So, today... Double sheer knuckle. That's what I'm doing. I, got, I ordered this piece from uh, B Lee's Off Road. B L E E S. I think they're from Indiana. Pretty sure I ordered this a long time ago. Um, but, anyways, in case you don't know what a double sheer knuckle is, I'll show you guys. So, here's my knuckle with my steering tie rod drag link. Um, and then. I'm just going to tell you guys, this is like in my last video, uh, when I made the tie rod, I showed it kind of done like this. Uh, this is not mounted at all. If you can see over there, it is literally being held up by a mallet. It's just, it makes it a lot easier to, you know, figure this stuff out with it being there. I can't put it on yet, but anyways, here's my knuckle with everything that needs to be on there. Now with the knuckle like this, it's fine. But that is a six, six and a half or seven inch bolt that I need to go through there and connect everything I need to be connected. So that will work. But the problem with that is there's a lot of force being put on this knuckle and this bolt. When you turn, you're pushing at the top of this bolt, turning it this way. When you're turning that way, you're pulling at the top of the bolt, which is doing the opposite on the bottom. And eventually over time it'll kind of wobble or wallow out this hole in your knuckle. And then it'll get real loose. And then if you are unfortunate enough, you could snap this bolt or bend it pretty bad. So what a double shear knuckle does is this will get welded on something like this. And now you have two shear points. So instead of the bolt snapping right here, right at the knuckle or at the top or whatever, it now has to be forced twice as hard to snap. It just makes everything a lot sturdier, a lot stronger, and a lot safer. So I ordered this, and they only make them for a few different knuckles, and this is not for this knuckle. I thought it was, it's not, but I can work with it. You could make this yourself. It's just a bent piece of steel with a hole in it. You can bend it to whatever you need. I don't have the ability to bend metal this thick. This is quarter inch at least. Yeah, I can't bend it myself. So I ordered it and I'm gonna make it work. So what I need to do is take all this apart. This goes right below the bolt. And then I can already tell that it's gonna need to be cut a little bit. I want it needs to be welded on here. Some, I mean, not like this, but it needs to be welded to the knuckle, and then the bolt goes through it. And then there's another piece. I'll have to grab it. It's kind of just a little triangle piece that'll support it a lot more, and it all gets welded together. So what I'm gonna do is take this apart, slide this in here, and then I'll kind of get an idea of what I gotta start, how much material I need to start taking off here before I can get it to fit on there. It's kind of confusing, but I'll do it real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Hope you guys can see this. It's about this. I can get the camera adjusted here. So, like I said, this needs to go on there and get welded right here. But you can see that it doesn't want to go there right now. And this is the angle it needs to be at when this is all smushed together. So, I'm thinking if I just take a straight edge off the top of this knuckle and draw straight across this, I can start there 
and hopefully it'll fit across flush and then I can put a weld on there with the gusset inside there. Let's show you guys a little closer. Maybe half an inch needs to be taken off there. And then we'll slide over. In case you guys are wondering, looks maybe a little odd. You saw me take this off, wondering what that is. So the issue I had was my steering, um, the drag link. Without this in there, this is one inch, the drag link sat on top of the knuckle like normal and it wanted to run straight through the middle of my leaf springs. If I would have gone with a coil suspension it would have been no problem at all. Um, so to fix that I used, I just cut a, an inch off this tube this quarter inch wall DOM tubing and I just sandwiched it in there. Um, it's another reason I want to do this because I'm now adding another inch of wiggle room to all of this. An extra inch of leverage for that bolt to kind of wiggle its way around and maybe snap so this is definitely a good idea. It just strengthens everything. It's not expensive. It shouldn't be too hard to do. And it's just extra security. Okay, so all I'm going to do to mark this is, I've just got a little saw blade here, a ruler would work too and then you can draw a line, I can't seem to find a ruler, so I'm just going to put this flat on top of the knuckle, and kind of just make a little mark right here, nothing crazy, and I've got a little shiny mark there, I can see, I don't think the camera can see it, and I'm just going to measure that, measure it on the other side of the same, and then I'll go, i got a square. I'll just square it across and start cutting there. Made my line, I measured it, it's about three quarters of an inch that I'll be taking off and cut below this line. Alright, cut it off. Cut it a little bit short. There's just a little bit of a gap in there, but it'll be okay. I can fill that gap. It's not like a major gap. And then I had to modify this piece. It was more of a triangle. I just cut a little chunk off it. You can see there's a gap there, but it's just a little sliver. That'll just support it some more. Give it some more, more area to weld, other than just a straight line across here, because that would just likely bend with the bolt. This will kind of tie it all together and hold it in strong. So it's as simple as that. Just it was the wrong one. All I did was cut it a little bit, made it work, and I just got to weld it in now. So I weld it in and I'll show you guys when I'm done. It's pretty simple. Got the double shear all welded up. Camera gets in the way here in the light. That's it. It's as simple as that. This was kind of one of them little things I was dreading. I was kind of afraid to dive into it, but I was sitting around in the garage trying to figure out what to do. And I've been looking at this piece of metal since I ordered it probably months ago. And, well, now it's done. So. One step closer. We're getting there slowly. I'll show you guys the knuckle with everything put back in it. And then I'll probably end the video there. So, just trying to keep the videos, keep the videos going. Recording progress. Like I said, I wasn't recording anything, but I 
told you guys I would record little things no matter what it was, so something like that. Hopefully you guys learned something from that. That's why I make the videos. Not necessarily to teach you guys, but like I mean I had no idea how to do that and I ordered it and sat around forever. So maybe I, someone else has got it and will motivate them to kinda get going on their project. That's kinda why I make the videos also. Just Maybe someone doesn't know how to do anything, and then they see that I can do it. You know, they see someone else do it. I mean, this is what I'm working with. Nothing, not no shop or anything like that. Just in my garage, with some tools, a welder. And it can happen. It, we'll get, we're getting there. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you like the video. If it helps you out, if you it motivated you, I don't know. Just like the video if you like it good reason to like a video. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out. It motivates me to keep making videos when I see that people are watching. People want to keep watching and they want to see the range get done. It motivates me some more to, you know, I got people waiting on me kind of. They want to see it get done so it all helps. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.